welcome back to Forever Smarted. As you can see, I have widgets on my home screen. This is thanks to an app called Vlogs Reloaded that just released yesterday. Now, let me walk you through how this app works and how to enable the widgets. Now, first thing first, go ahead, open Cydia and search for Vlogs Reload. Now, this week will be available through a repo called cherries.io. Now, when the installation is finished, go ahead and press down on any app that supports your widgets. Now you have an extra choice, Vlox. I hit it to get a preview of the widget and here you can choose the size of the widget. Now you can see I have the clock widgets as my first widget on my phone. Next, go ahead and open, for example, calendar. I think this is a really useful widget, so I like to have it in a medium size. It covers most of what I need and it also allows me to have a couple of icons by its side. Last widget for my home pay is the reminder widgets which give me a neat way to remind myself of things I should do during the day. Now on my second page I start by opening notes and add a widget for that. It can be nice if you have a shopping list or just want to have easy access to your notes. Now next up is Spotify which is so nice because it gives an easy access to the music player. Next is activity. Now having activity there is just such a great way to be reminded to stay healthy and I feel it frees up the Apple Watch so I can use other watch faces on that. Messages is just brilliant so you don't forget a text message. Now for the last part we have the weather forecast as you can see here I have it in a 2x2 two two row. Uh, I will try to reactivate it now with a full size and I think it just looks stunning even though it might be quite a bit of a waste of space. Now for the final touch, I will go ahead, open Snowbird and apply a team called Viola, which I think will make this team just stand out like nothing else. Now, interacting with widgets is pretty simple, just tap any of the widgets and they will open. In addition, you have the Spotify widget, which will play and pause music, while the Note app brings you to the latest notes. Make sure you don't miss out of my other videos, here you can see a preview of the Cost Switcher app, an iPad multitasking app for the iPhone. I also made some really nice team videos, so make sure you don't miss those. Now that was a pretty quick tutorial, hope you enjoyed it. Hit like, subscribe and hit the notification bell, so you get updated every time I post a new video with a new awesome tweak. You still here? Well, hit that bell.